This presentation is brought to you by BenLowry.com. Hey Dean, how's it going? Not too bad. I think this is the first chance we've actually had to actually speak, eh? Yeah, nice to talk to you. Nice, no kidding. Yeah, oh boy, dude, there's uh, there's so much you guys are missing then. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't know about that. I didn't know there was a difference. Oh my god, there's a huge difference. Um, have you ever noticed that when uh, the inner city of London, when they're having special events, uh, the queen has to ask permission to enter that section of the city? Oh yeah, I've heard about that, yeah. Okay, that's because she's not sovereign there. The inner city of London is sovereign. It's a sovereign of its own. Oh. Okay, now when the, when, when the crown brings a charge against you, it's not a representative of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor. The crown is the short form of the Crown Corporation, oh. which is Her Majesty in Right of England. That is not Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. That is the Crown Corporation, the sovereign independent nation of London. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so you can ask them that. When the crown brings a charge against you, say, excuse me, I need to clarify something. Are you a representative of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor, Windsor, who's sworn to uphold God's laws, or are you the crown in right of the crown being um, Her Majesty in right of England, which is the crown corporation of the inner city and independent nation of London? So Her Majesty of the House of Windsor is the actual woman, is that what you That's mean? That's the actual woman who swore an oath when she accepted the crown. Right. The other crown is a fake crown. It's it's a crown corporation. Right, but it's still called Her Majesty, even though it's a corporation. Of course, because technically it's spelled in all capital letters. Oh, I see. So that's the entity that bring that 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 brings all the like you said the summary, you yes, know, complaints. Absolutely, summary convictions. Which is, uh, I went back and I started reading. 200 year old banking manuals about a year ago <laughs> and I discovered that what what they call summary judgment mm, or yeah. summary summary convictions yeah back in the day used to be called summary execution of mercantile instruments oh so they are summarily executing what they claim are debt instruments against you the problem is the debt instruments don't exist and they're not real because there's no debt but we're not addressing that issue. We're going, we're pleading guilty or not guilty. Mm. Okay? So this is very big now. You can shut, you can shut quotation marks, the crown, down in a second by asking them to clarify who they are. Because as soon as you clarify that it's not Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor, now it's a corporation and they can only enforce contracts against you. Now you ask for the contract. Right. No oh, contract, no obligation. Oh, I see. Yeah, it makes it so they're actually it's all based on a breach of contract implied. Absolutely, an implied contract that they cannot produce. Right. And if they did produce it, they would admit to the fraud that's being carried out. Yeah, because then, be, be, why? Because then there would be a distinction between Her Majesty and Her Majesty. Not only that, but then they would admit that the driver's license is contractual in nature. Right. And if you don't have one, they can't charge you. Right. Yeah, because that because then it would be clear that it's all based on consent, etc. They are fucked either way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Tell me that just opened up a whole world of possibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how I'd go about it exactly, but it, that, 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 that opens up a lot of... Well, it's very simple. Now when you get a ticket or a charge against you, right? Hmm. You contact the Crown and you say, excuse me, I need to clarify exactly who you are. Yeah. Are you representing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor? Or are you representing Her Majesty in right of England? <laughs> which I believe to be a crown corporation of the inner city of London, the independent nation. Say, so if that is the case, I'm sorry, I don't have a contract with you. I believe you're mistaken. If you're claiming that there is a contract in place, please produce it within the next 10 business days. Otherwise, we have no further business together. Nice. 
Now, when they don't reply, you inform the courts of that. Yeah. Yeah. What are they going to say to that? Well, they, they didn't reply, so you, you win by default, I guess. Is... Fuck yeah. Yeah, the, 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 yeah this, this corporation, the Crown Corporation, known as Her Majesty and Right of England, has <laughs> agreed with me that we don't have a contract. So they have no jurisdiction to prosecute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. Right? So now your problem isn't with the courts. Your problem is with this entity called the Crown that you believed up until five minutes ago was an agent of Her Majesty the Queen in Elizabeth of the House of Windsor. Right. I mean, if you look at any statute that's passed in, in the UK, um, I guarantee it says by and with uh, the advice of council or something or enacted by Her Majesty and Right of England or something like that, right? Yeah, at the top, yeah. Does it ever say enacted by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor? I don't think so. Fuck no, it does not. <laughs> Because that's not who it is. Right. I see. So, I guess I need to go away and, and look into this thing. I didn't even know there was a thing called in... What was it? In Right of England? Her Majesty the Queen in Right of England. I never heard of that before, so I need to go away and look into that then. Yes, and I know about that here in Canada because that's who enacted the Canada Act of 1982, which is our Constitution. Oh, right. Right? They're all sub-corporations of the corporation, which is the inner city of London. That's the commercial center of the planet for their criminal enterprise. Oh, I see. So Her Majesty the Corporation in right of England is, is under the Corporation of London. Is that what you're saying? That's It is the Corporation of London. That's oh. what the name they go by. Oh, I see. I see. It, in fact, I, I don't know if this is relevant, but when you go into London, I don't know if you've been there, and you go no. into the inner city, it actually says you. Uh, the, it, there's actually a sign that says you're entering... The, the, the corporation, the city or the corporation, it actually says Corporation of London or something. There you go. That's what Her Majesty is. That's what the the Crown is. Right. It's the inner city of London, the sovereign independent nation of London. I think Max Egan's videos talk about this. Um, I'm not familiar with him. Who's that? Oh, geez, I did an interview with him just a couple of days ago. He's got this wonderful website called thecrowhouse.ca or .com. Oh, yeah, I think I know the guy you mean. It, the, the same woman was interviewing him as well. Is that right? I believe so, yeah. Now, that yeah. those are some videos you should watch because he talks about that. Right. Specifically, that is your entire argument done right there. <laughs> nice. It's easier for you guys because you guys are at ground zero. We got a whole chain we have to follow all the way back to them to prove it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are fucking ground zero. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can bring up this picture. I want to send it to you. This picture where it's on the wall and it's got a dragon. It says the Corporation of London. There you go. And it's one square mile of downtown London, correct? Yeah. That's it. That's there, it. Let that me... is the crown. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The Crown Corporation. So, um, if, um, when it comes to human rights and stuff, the, yep. you, so the Queen, as in the woman herself, she swore an oath to... to how does that relate? I'm not exactly clear how it ties in. Uh, well, the, well the, the one and the two are good, because technically speaking, she, by, by assuming the Crown, she swore, to, she swore to be the defender of all faiths and the defender of the common law, right? Okay, right, yeah. That's where your human rights come in. She's the defender of all that. Oh, I see, but not the corporations. Fuck no. <laughs> no, they're the opposite of whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they swore an oath to fuck you over and steal you and steal from you and, and screw you out of everything that you're worth. That's what their oath is. Right. <laughs> you take it off, Mark? Uh, are you going to be at home a little bit? I'm probably going to pop by. Cool. I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah, and there's you know um um in America, you know they've got like the 14th amendment citizen type of thing. Yes, the which creation, is like yeah. yeah. that's like the entity, you know, under the government as opposed to one of the people above the government, right? Yeah, that that created basically a uh a civil servant. Right. Yeah, like like you say a, a government employee or or something to that effect kind of thing. Yeah. Um I'm not sure what the equivalent 
of that is here in England? I'm not sure how to equate that to our system. Well, I would say citizenship is the same thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, citizenship is is uh, see, you're not you're you guys aren't really any longer. You're not citizens of of England that that the Queen is in control of. You're now citizens of the Crown Corporation. I see. Yeah. Yeah. That's only if you choose to to operate under that, correct? Yeah, of course, yeah. Just because I have a license doesn't mean I'm doing that at all times. Right, yeah. I have a license to operate a citizenship under that corporation, but I'm not. It's there, but I'm not using it. Yeah, you don't have to be in that capacity all the time, every... Of course not. And right. if I am, where's the contract? Because they have to contract with you for a specific duty. It can't be just a blanket contract. Oh, you're a citizen, whether you're sleeping or, or awake. Yeah. Yeah. What service did I provide? What did you pay me? Where's yeah. the contract? Yeah. I'm only answerable to you when I'm on the books, when I'm on your time. Yeah. When I'm being paid to be on your time. When I'm not to be paid on your time, I'm just a private man gaining a livelihood in the private sector. Which means my human rights now apply. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck can they say to that? <laughs> and it's like you said, I heard you say on one of the things, um, like the the jurisdiction is like a, what did you call it? A, like a sales zone or a trading zone or something? Yeah, like... It, it's, it's like a, sa yeah, a sales territory. Yeah, sales territory. That Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I can start a corporation tomorrow and say my sales tour ter territory is all of Canada and then print up a map of Canada and show my entire authority for what's underneath my company. Yeah. This is my sales territory. So anybody that contracts with my company within this landmass is under my jurisdiction. Yeah. That's all they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's crystal clear when you put it like that, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's so fucking simple. It just makes you. It just about makes you sick that we've been missing it. Yeah, yeah. It's dead simple. Yeah, it's just like a company. It's just company and company employees and anybody you know, subcontractors is. Yeah. Yep. When when it's their business, they have jurisdiction over it within that territory. Yeah. With when it's their business, but their business is not your business, and your business is not their business unless you two have a contract where your business is their business. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, crystal clear. Fuck, I hope so, man, because people need to start getting this shit figured out and doing something because uh, shit is going down. <laughs> so what's your, what's your feelings about the near future, like the next couple of years? Do you think, you know, what's going to happen? I have some very positive f vibes on this awakening that's going on right now and that's that that's even a very uh, very spiritual kind of thing I'm believing in right now a lot to do with the, the 2012 stuff eh yeah I think there's a mass spiritual awakening going on I agree and I definitely think like you know so many people are sharing information now you know via YouTube and via Facebook and it the information spreads so quickly like your stuff you know like a couple of months ago there you know nobody heard of you and then there's some videos online and all of a sudden there's like 80,000 views already in in no time yeah I think 83 as of this morning yeah exactly it's great isn't it well that that's insane because again uh, three months ago I, I was just getting tired of the fact that nobody in my group here in Winnipeg was really learning or, or, or doing anything because they were just having these really stupid cafe meetings at this coffee shop where they would just <laughs> get, get around and they would start discussing like conspiracy theories and stuff right <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I just finally said to him I go fuck I said guys like we got there's stuff we got to get done here. Do you guys want to start having like a meeting at my office? I'm going to start putting on a meeting on on Tuesdays. If you guys want to show up, we'll do a workshop <laughs> and we'll start teaching this stuff. And they're like, oh, okay. You know, so 10 guys show up and this old fart who's about 76, he's just an awesome guy, this guy named Ed, he shows up with like this movie director's chair and a tripod and a camera that he bought on Kijiji for like 300 bucks. And he goes, Dean, is it all right if I record this so I can take it home and watch it? Because I have trouble understanding when you're speaking sometimes, so I want to watch it over and over again. I'm like, yeah, sure, man, go ahead. <laughs> so he gives me his little microphone, and he records it, and then a couple of guys from the meeting watched it, and they're like, dude, we should put that on YouTube. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> and so, bam, here we are. You know, Six weeks later, I'm doing interviews all over the fucking world and, and 83,000 fucking views on, on, the, on the videos on the, on the channel. Yeah. Well, that's insane. I didn't know people were this... Honestly, I, I got to tell you, I'm shocked because I've watched a couple of your videos there. 
I can't believe 